troopers move in and close everybody off, isolate them. We were blocked in from uh, every direction, and then uh, we were part of a small group of about 30 people that got cut off from the main four and a half hour group. And before we even knew that we were blocked in, we were blocked in, so there was no way that we could get out. Well, what's the cry for being in here? We're peacefully protesting. Hey, folks, do you understand? Everybody's going to be arrested. We'll do it nice and easy, okay? We don't want to hurt anybody, but you are going to be arrested. For what? what I told you, conspiracy to commit mischief, so stand here. We'll take you one at a time, okay? Thank you. For, for what's, what's the charge? Conspiracy to commit mischief? We're peacefully assembling. You're interpreting it all wrong, sir. We're peacefully assembling. Nobody's conspiring for mischief. So seriously, if you wanted to get out, you would get arrested? I think so. started dragging us away. At that point, that's when it got real. They started to just round them up, and you know, they just started treating us as cattle, and that's what we felt like. Look at all those civilians back there.
I was standing at Queen and Sedina, I was taking pictures, and then all of a sudden I got boxed in, and I've been here probably for the past three hours, and for the past half hour and a half it's been pouring rain, I'm soaking wet, there's still people who are crying. We were allowed on the east side before, and now they're cornering us in, they're boxing us in even further on the west side, and they're they're closing in further, they've got, you know, police on every corner, they've got the riot police buses, you know, they've got tons of court vans, and you know, they've got tons of people who are in, uh, are in the plastic handcuffs right now. Somebody was walking their dog, another couple was going out for dinner. You know, I was just taking pictures. A lot of people were just walking by and now and now we're stuck in the rain for the past two hours, freezing cold. This is completely unfair. This is against, you know, this is against everything that I stand for, that Canada stands for. The mayor will not comment on this. Adam Vaughn, the area councillor, will not comment on this. Uh, the police chief will not comment on this. The integrated security unit will not comment on this. Uh, no one wants to touch this. This is a situation that is uh, beyond, apparently, anyone's comment or control. I was calling my mom to see what they were saying on the news about it, whether or not they were, like, you know, giving any indication of letting us go or, or at least giving reason as to why we were stuck here. I stood out in the rain for about an hour or so with uh, zip cuffs on the back of my hands. and uh, So soaked to the bone, we got on a bus where they continue to put the AC on. We asked them to stop. They turned up even higher. We were in the paddy wagons for several, or for a couple hours at least, uh, soaking wet. Like, I was in the shorts and a tank top, you know, and the girl in the next um, seat in the paddy wagon had to go to the washroom. She was yelling to the, like, asking them, please, like, can I just go to the washroom? I really need to go to the washroom. I explained that I had to leave the group because I needed to use the washroom and could he direct me where to go. Um, the riot officer took me out of the, um, took me out of the crowd by the arm and then placed me under arrest. I was taken to one of the police paddy wagons and I was um, situated among nine other girls. I asked the um, police officer where could I go to the bathroom because that was my quest of getting out of the group. He told me that I could use the paddy wagon. I said, you've got to be joking. I had no choice. I have a kidney that doesn't work properly and I've never been so disgusted and felt so violated in all my life. Because my hands were cuffed, I couldn't even help myself to prepare to do that. Mm -hmm. So I had all these strange girls do it for me. That bloody cop stood at the wire part of the door, which was wide open, and watched me urinate. He watched me urinate, and I even addressed him. And I said, that is against the law. I said, do you know what that does? He, he couldn't even imagine, and neither can other people, how a, how that would affect someone and traumatize someone. But he didn't just do it with me, he did it with three other girls. And I don't give a shit who this guy was, a cop. I gave him no goddamn right to look at a girl urinate. Because you know what, if it was someone else in the neighborhood that was doing that, they would be picked up, thrown in jail, and charged. It's, it's the most humiliating and embarrassing thing I've ever had to say on camera. But people have to know the truth. We gained significant evidence to suggest that we had members of uh, black block type people that were uh, involved in the crowd mixed in, uh, and that included people who during the, during the walk uh, actually donned masks, as we saw yesterday, which was the precipitation of, of the violence that we saw. Uh, I'm also advised that we recovered some weapons along the route from, uh, from unknown sources uh, who had dropped them, but uh, they were also found. So all of this led our officers who, uh, who have been on the road trying to protect the city very diligently to believe that they had the reasonable grounds, in which they did, to believe that a breach of the peace was going to take place from the people involved in this group, including the people, um, as I said, that we believe were potentially black bloc type uh, protesters. Uh, the rain brought the, brought the uh, danger of a further breach of the peace uh, to dissipate, and after a discussion at the command level, uh, upon the direction of the chief of police, all of the people involved in this incident had been or in the process, but I'm fairly confident that everyone has been released at this point uh, unconditionally and as quickly as we could. What we do is in the best interest of the public, and sometimes it doesn't always work out perfectly for all, and, and we recognize that, and I know that you do. Uh, hi, Tyrone, reporting for Press for Truth. I just spent the better of uh, six hours in the Toronto 
Digital Film Studio. Actually, we spent about three hours in a bus just waiting to be processed. Uh, the cops basically approached on our democratic process. None of us were out of line, but they felt the need to seal us in and arrest us one by one. I was there, recording there, uh, the protest as media.